There is one predator in this world that stands above all others. Every day you risk facing the judgment of this terrible predator, a predator that shows no mercy to even the largest inhabitants of this island. Its teeth are six to eight inches long and its bite could snap a car in half. Some male viewers may overestimate that length. Please get a proper ruler to double check your guesstimate. Today we follow the magnificent Dinosuchus as it journeys through life. Today we also witness six inches is average. Sorry, wrong script. A terrible miracle. That is very menacing. All right, how do I, how do I get out of this? Oh, come on, little guy. It seems this baby is getting fed with a silver spoon. Both parents are present. Very few would trifle with a pair of adult dinosuchus for their baby. And that, that must be my parents. Are you my parents? You're my parents. Excellent observation, Captain Obvious. Shall I fetch your idiot award? I guess now we get to try and survive. Is the terrible crocodile. Look how small our teeth are. Oh, they're pearly white. I actually want to fucking quit. Is this the level of intelligence I have to deal with? Oh, they're so huge. There's my answer. Oh my god, it is massive. What a dangerous world. I'm never going to be used to this. God, look at the size of the tail. I can't believe I get that monstrously big. Beneath the dense brush and piled sticks, there's a freshly laid clutch of eggs. They weigh just over 12 kilograms or 26 pounds each. To quantify that into unique meaning, if a human were to do this, they would need to pee with a back brace for the rest of their life. <laughs> That's kind of adorable in a weird way. Crocodiles can smell a carcass from over four miles away, so it's no wonder why this crocodiliform can hone in on blood from anywhere. Oh, there's a bunch of organs here. Wow, I can see right inside this thing's ribs. My god, I can live inside its ribs. That's disgusting. I'm literally inside this thing's ribs. That is disgusting. This family has made short work of the stegosaurus carcass. They're not quite done yet, though. They'll eat everything, even the bones, which offer substantial nutritional value. Man, these were picked clean. <laughs> oh! Oh! What is that? Oh, you're so violent when you eat. Morning comes quick when the world is determined to stop you from growing into a multi-ton unaliving machine. The youngsters seem to be posing up to see who's king of the roost. Oh, I'm the runt! I'm actually the runt! Looks like the family has come across a lone dano. It's pinned between a boulder and a log. These cannibalistic predators will never pass on a free meal. Oh, that is so damn cool. Oh my god. Honestly, that is like the goal. Oh my god, don't washing machine me. Much like modern day crocodiles, Dinosuchus will death roll its prey to rip chunks away from the body. In this case, it's for quick nutrient rich organ removal. Oh, that's a stego. Are they gonna try and. Are they gonna try and get it? Oh, that's not a good idea. That thing's huge. Oh, okay. I better stay back. A vicious ambush against an unsuspecting Stegosaurus. One well-placed swipe with those tail spikes can prove fatal. However, these are seasoned predators. They instinctively know to avoid them. This is a very dangerous world to grow up in alone or as an orphan. Outmatched, the giant herbivore retreats back into the dense brush. The Danosuchus pair know better than to enter territory where it is disadvantaged. It seems this family has come across yet another adult Dana. The question is, what is the end result of these apex predators meeting? Oh, God. Oh, I didn't see that. Oh, I hope the parents saw it. Oh, that one is huge. Oh, I'm going to keep my distance. I don't, I don't want to deal with that at all. Where is it? Where? Where did you go? I don't want to be a snack. Come on. Find it. Are they gonna get it? What are they doing? Are they... <gasps> oh, oh, okay. All right. I'm okay. Oh my God. Poor guy. When met with danger, the young instinctively know to hide and wait for the all clear. In turn, the parents will eviscerate anything that they can perceive as a threat to their young. 
This corpse will feed the entire family. A job well done. Oh, this is going to be so much food. Oh, and I'm full. Yes. Looks like these youngsters are getting a taste for the hunt. So much that they didn't realize they were the ones being hunted. What are you chasing? Oh, there's something up here? Oh, we're going to get it. Uh, uh, what? Oh, God, there's something. Beneath the water's edge, a battle has started. It sounds like one of the parents have been ambushed. Abandon the hunt. See, oh, they're fighting another one. So many cannibals. Are they going to... Are they trying to drown him? Oh, oh, they're getting him! The pair have gotten the upper hand against a hunger-crazed Dana Sukus that attacked one of their young, and now they're trying to drown it. What? Where did it go? It, what? God, there's no way he escaped. Did he really? Man, that guy... Oh! Uh, uh, rocks aren't supposed to have tails. Personally, I think this is a really scummy move. This is the Dino the babies were being protected from earlier. I thought he just managed to slip away in the confusion, but in reality, they found an exploit and started using that to their advantage. Imagine spending up to eight hours growing your Dino only for that hard work to be wiped out by someone that got salty they were losing a battle and defaulted to cheating. This person tried to kill us all and all I could do was watch. Yeah, I had admin privileges, but I was told not to use any commands or perform any admin duties. I only have this strictly to record footage from different angles. I've submitted the player name, and I hope something is done so this cheater can't do this to any of you. I can't imagine being so bad that even while using an exploit which practically makes you invulnerable, you still lose. Oh, you got him! Nice! Damn! Imagine abusing a bug and still dying. <laughs> a well-deserved death, you little bitch. Come on! Come on, get it! Come on! Yes! Yes! All right, take it down and drive. No, 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 come here, come here, come here. Oh, oh my God, that's my first kill. Oh, I'm so proud of learning to hunt. <laughs> oh, I look, I look pretty too. My colors are coming in really nicely. I'm pretty proud of that. If this qualifies as a reason to be proud, then I deserve an award every time I wipe my own ass. Oh, what's that? What's that? Is that a, oh, it's a colonel. A lone Carnotaurus is using the cover of a bush to get some water. In the scientific world, we call this natural selection. The scales of Dinosuchus have sensors known as dome pressure receptors. They make even the lightest pressure change in water detectable with great accuracy and distance. This young Dinosuchus has been out all night scavenging away from its parents. A lack of experience means it's found confidence in its sheer size and power. A naive but vital part of gaining survival instincts. <gasps> what? What? What is that? Oh! Where? Is that over there? Oh no. Oh, please don't. Please don't be dying. I still need you. Had this juvenile been over there, the outcome might have been different. The parents have found a hostile cannibal and are trying to make quick work of it. Okay, so that was short-lived. I need to get, I think, a lung and a heart, maybe? If I can get a perfect diet, I'll start growing at 50% increased rate. So what do I have here? Is this, a, what is this? I don't need the heart. Uh, I have, what is that? A nut? <laughs> oh, that's the stomach. So the stomach is, hang on, let me, let me sniff. I don't, I don't know what the stomach gives. It doesn't, oh yes, it activated it. I have perfect diet now. Growth rate increased 50%? Hell yeah. But I don't get any other bonuses. The world is about to get a lot more dangerous, just not for us. This terrible crocodile has made it to the sub-adult stage of its life. Thus, the family has parted ways. The father has chosen to remain with this young croc to help pass along some additional hunting skills. Yeah, we, we might want to go. We might want to go. We might yeah, let's want go. Let's get go. going. What were we going? Left or right? We're going this way. Okay, zip away. Go, 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 go. <laughs> They're big it ass be, dinos. It might be people I know, but I'm not saying with them. Bend over. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. Packy, oh, Packy. Oh, oh. That's on your side. It. Two of them. Yep. It's a family. A family of Pachycephalosaurus. They must be thirsty, but the experienced adults have learned what it could be waiting at the water's edge. 
They know not even the 10 inches of bone protecting their brain is enough to withstand a bite. You could probably ambush out really far and get them. This is what I'm trying to do. Maybe let them drink for a little bit and, like, let them get comfortable and then grab them. They have every right to be cautious here. These adults know convenience is rarely an option in a world of survival. It's very likely they know of a better location to drink from with less danger. They have to keep their babies safe. The dryo there. Yeah, they're gonna, like, there's no way they're not gonna assume there's nothing. Are you serious? That's messed up. No way they didn't. Oh! I'd help, but I mean, that thing would absolutely destroy me. It was a slow process, but this Dano has reached full maturity. Thanks to the extra assistance of its father, it has also proven to become an expert hunter. <gasps> I see a Carno. A Carnotaurus is at the wrong place at the wrong time. Its lack of experience is showing as it carelessly remains near the water. Yes! Yes! Oh, you are done for. Being worn out from travel, the Danosuchus loses grip of its struggling prey. Luckily, it's got help. Oh, please start biting him. Oh, yes! Ah. Oh. Great minds think alike. Yes! That's so good. Oh, I'm gonna rip its guts out. Oh, yeah! That is, that is never going to get old. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Fresh organ meat will provide much needed nutrients. After all, this Dinosuchus is female and it has big plans. It's preparing to find a mate and create a nest. It just needs to find the perfect location. Oh, no. Oh, we definitely just orphaned that one. A cruel reminder that every victory is potentially... A catastrophic loss. Lucky for this youngster, it had both parents. With Carnotaurus being notorious cannibals, it shouldn't go hungry. I'm gonna devour the bones too. Nothing will go to waste, not even the bones. I will devour this. I think that's a heart. Oh, well, it's gone now, so I'll never know. Whatever it was, it tasted pretty good. <gasps> Ooh, there's a baby Stego. It's a ste Oh, it's a Stego family. Oh, I dare one of you to come out here. I absolutely dare you. Oh, come on. Come get a drink, little one. You look like you're thirsty. Please, come get a drink. In my defense, I only said they were built for hunting. I didn't say they were smart. I wonder if I could run up there real quick and you ain't gonna run back with me. Natural selection might still have a chance. Oh, this raptor's gonna absolutely have a stroke. <laughs> He's running away. <laughs> Survival of the fittest still heavily influences life on this island. Because I am just that hungry. Even the smallest meals are important, no matter how you get them. Oh, I know these are compies. I thought this was a pteranodon. A fork in the path ahead. Nearly all choose to go right in favor of more sustenance inland. Ah, oh, this looks like it's going to be a terrible area to try and get through. I have a really bad feeling about this. There's so many dense bushes in here. It seems these two are doing the opposite of what was expected. They're heading out towards the ocean instead of further inland. Perhaps they are just confused. Only time will tell. Oh, I see, uh... I see this too. Oh, someone's here. A fresh corpse. One telling sign of a potential threat nearby. Then a fatal mistake. It made a noise. Oh, I see the Dino right there, but I'm so hungry, I might have to eat it. Oh, I don't want to do that. Never forget that other Danosuchus are part of a balanced diet. They provide nutrients like everything else. It might be a halfway, maybe? I, I think this guy's scared. <laughs> Poor guy. Oh, he's going up on land! Yes! Oh, I don't think I'm fighting you. Oh, is he dead? 
<laughs> that is evil. Let me just shake his guts. Oh no, I can't. As cruel as it might be, this is part of survival. Damn. <gasps> what was that sound? I... <sighs> With a long journey tomorrow, these two called it an early night. The female is ready to have her first clutch of eggs, but she still needs to find an appropriate suitor. An early start to the morning helped these two find their way to the edge of the river system. Oh, I'm going against the current. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, this is so pretty. This is stupidly pretty. God, look at the light coming down. Oh, there's a little waterfall there going down. Oh my God, everything looks so nice. The water detail looks so nice. Man, this is gorgeous. It is so pretty. That is a big waterfall. Oh, everything is just so pretty. You'd have to be stupid to not raise a family here. It's secluded and frequently traveled by prey. It'd be really cool if you could, uh, if you could get up there somehow, but it's probably not possible. Is there anything in this water? And down here we go. Is there any secrets behind the waterfall? No, there's not. Aw. Well, I guess they are stupid. I should have quit when I had the chance earlier. Now I'm emotionally invested and know they're practically doomed. Oh, there's a raptor there. Oh, there's two raptors there. A major land crossing. They're heading right for the ocean. If they make it, they're free to leave this island. Who knows what havoc they would wreak on the world outside. This island was chosen strategically, though. They should pass out from dehydration long before they make it. Oh, sh Oh, f They actually made it, and she's found a mate. Perhaps the father had common sense enough to turn around. And now we are paired. What an unexpected turn of events. Maybe life really does find a way. The pair have to focus on creating a warm nest for their eggs if they want to have any chance at success. The coastal air is far too cold for exposed eggs. Oh, I didn't. Oh, yeah, it did something. I can't believe what we're seeing. With any luck, we'll be greeting a fresh clutch of eggs in the morning. Well, the nest is incubating, and I'm really hungry. I'm going to see if I can find some sea turtles. I wonder how far into the ocean we can go. Might be a good idea to try and see. We can get to that other island. Might be stuff over there, too. For now, I'm going to focus on getting in here. Oh, that water looks completely different. This is seawater. All right. Oh, there's vegetation down here, too. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's a container down here. What's in this? Oh, I can go inside of it. That's, uh, that's weird. Oh, there's nothing in here. Wow, this is so cool. Oh, the ocean is really deep. This is scary. My, oh man. Look how far down I'm going. Oh my God. Look at the riptide up there. That's so cool. One day, this might be impossible. We may eventually be faced with the possibility of Mosasaurus in these waters, making the Dinosuchus an easy snack. We are so far down. I better go back to those eggs though. Against all odds, this female has created the next generation. Once this newborn is free from the egg, it will be ready almost instantaneously to swim long distances. There we go. There's a little guy. There's a little guy. He came up with his own diaper and everything. That's so adorable. We have our first offspring. The nest is there. I'm going to go into the ocean and see if I can get some sea turtles. I think that would be a viable source. And then from there, we are going out into the vast unknown world that is beyond this island. The final stretch. The mother has gone ahead with the father close by. The tantalizing smell of ultimate freedom is too much for them to resist. There's a whole world out there to explore. Potentially even beachgoers to devour. But without protection, they will do it alone without this child. An unfortunate end for this one. Also an important reminder, nobody can change the circle of life in nature. This marks the first ever escape from this island. 
If they make it to the other coastal regions, they will multiply unchecked. By the time any humans realize, it could be too late. They could spread far and wide across the globe. We're witnessing a shift in our ecosystem. We're racing toward the extinction of our species. We not only lack dominion over nature, we're subordinate to it. For now, we have witnessed the terrible miracle. You didn't actually think they had a chance to escape. Did you?